water structure in properties my name is dr alam zeb i am a professor at the department of biochemistry university of malacca and this lecture is a part of our course uh, introductory biochemistry so what is a water molecule water is basically formed when two hydrogen atom bonds to one oxygen atom uh, the molecule of water is not symmetrical it is a uh, rather a uh, tetrahedral in nature electrons spend more time near the oxygen and less time near the hydrogen so you can see here uh, from the different colors the distribution of uh, electrons so this uh, water molecule are held together by hydrogen bonds between oxygen atom and the hydrogen atom uh, there is a greater concentration of electron around the nucleus of the oxygen uh, than around the uh, hydrogen atom. So you can see in this case the outer shell of oxygen contains um, two lone pair of electron. Uh, so one hydrogen share this electron and the other hydrogen share this particle, for example, this electron. And thus, uh, these two lone pairs are outside the, um, uh, these are also present in the system. So, therefore, the hydrogen end is slightly positive and the oxygen end is slightly negative. Thus, uh, this slight negative make it dipolar or simply a polar molecules. When molecule, water molecules attract to one another, the hydrogen end of one molecule is attracted to the oxygen end of another. Uh, you can see here these uh, green uh, dotted lines which are the date of the uh, hydrogen bondings. Um, now the states of water. Water is the only substance found on the earth in all three states or we call it phases. Uh, the first one is liquid. You can see here in this uh, structure um, the water molecules are held uh, close together but in the random uh, way while the second state is that of the solid uh, which is also called ice in which molecules are close together forming solid phase however the arrangement are a little bit more uh, in order uh, in the case of uh, gases which or steam or wafer, molecules of water um, are held uh, far from each other. You can see here the water vapors in the skies, the, which we call clouds, etc. Um, these physical three states of water molecules, we know that uh, the water molecules are constantly moving. Uh, and temperature uh, enhancement can increase the moment. Uh, you can see when a sunlight um, falls on these water vapor, uh, it is a water molecule, they are evaporated. So ice uh, melts into simple uh, liquid water molecules. Uh, next is the hydro hydrological cycle. Uh, or simply we can call it uh, the water cycle uh, you can see here in this uh, picture uh, the um, water evaporates is evaporated uh, so from the oceans uh, in other ground waters and to the skies to the air and then from atmosphere uh, they are pre condensed and precipitated back uh, uh, whether in the form of um, uh, snow, uh, uh, ice or snow, or um, snow melting run up, or just simple rain into back to the um, land, and then from ground it flows back to the uh, oceans. So, this is the way in which water is recycled. Uh, when water molecules move faster, they tend to break their hydrogen bonds. Uh, this is called evaporation, which is a very normal uh, process in uh, uh, summer. When uh, gas or vapor molecule is uh, slowed down or cooled, they clump or join together as water becomes cooler 
it become less dense so you can see here uh, and their density is usually less so one gram per cubic centimeter at this temperature while it is less uh, at a higher temperature so this process is called cons condensation in which a uh, water molecule um, condensed back uh, as water changes from a liquid to a solid molecule uh, this forms crystals in ice crystals the molecules are spaced further apart and they are um, like you can see here when the liquids uh, with the irregular shape of the molecules they become ice so they are in the more ordered form and that's why its volumes are uh, increased since molecules are spaced further apart ice is less dense than water it floats this phenomena is helpful for aquatic organism which forms a blanket if the ice was more dense than water lakes would freeze from the bottom upward and the fish would die water has a high specific heat or heat capacity which is the amount of heat needed to rise the temperature of one gram of a substance by one degree this quality of water is very important for several reasons uh, this thermal property uh, of water is uh, a very important property uh, which regulates the rate at which the air temperature uh, changes uh, aquatic organism face less temperature variation than terrestrial organism water is used in cooling system found in cars in industrial plants so you can see here in this picture the first one uh, is the car carburetor where the water circulates while this one is the industrial where water is cooled and recirculated and thus the heat is um, uh, evolved next property is called surface tension uh, next to mercury water has the highest surface tension of all liquid uh, this is the result of a tendency of water water molecule to attract one another or cohere at the surface of any molecule of water you can see here uh, the one molecules of a liquid is attracted by other while at the surface only it is attracted from the lower side surface tension allow insects uh, to walk on water and the interaction between the hydrogen bonding uh, is very stronger cohesion is then another property in which the attraction between water molecules to each other through hydrogen bonding occur so uh, this uh, waves the big waves or the drops are because of the cohesion adhesion is the attraction of water molecules to another substance uh, so um, the, you can see here that Mm, water forms a specific meniscus so there are two type of meniscus uh, uh, concave and convex so he uh, the, the water in this case forms a uh, concave meniscus uh, another property is capillarity or capillary action the moment of water within the spaces of a porous material uh, due to the forces of surface tension adhesion and cohesion uh, the water uh, flows um, from uh, in this particular tube in capillary tube and this is the reason that water claims uh, in plants next property is osmosis water movement across a semi permeable membrane is driven by differences in osmotic pressure is an important factor in, in the life of most cell plasma membranes are more permeable to water than most of the other small molecules and our macromolecules so you can see here when um, a cell is present in the isotonic solution it do, the water do not move while a cell in a hypertonic solution uh, water moves out of the and the cell shrink while when cell is placed in a hypotonic solution water moves creating outward pressure uh, cell swells and may eventually burst uh, pH alkalinity or acidity uh, pH is uh, uh, the measurement of hydrogen ion concentration found in that particular substance uh, the scale goes from 0 to 14 7 is neutral below 7 is acidic above 7 is alkaline or basic one pH unit represent uh, a 10 pole change in the protein ion concentration so you can see here the battery acid um, lemon juice apple juice tomato juice these are in the acidic vinegar these are the acidic range 
while uh, pH 7 is a neutral one, uh, seawater, alkaline, uh, milk, magnesia, uh, baking soda, ammonia, they have on the higher um, pH and they are usually uh, basic in nature. Water is a solvent. This is another important property since water can dissolve more things than any other natural substance. It is known as universal solvent. And the property of solvent include interaction with other polar compound and is repelled by non-polar compounds. Small size allow it to saturate areas, can convey other substance in solution. Water is especially good at dissolving salt. Salt form from the combination of particles with opposite electrical charges or ions for example sodium and chloride when salt is placed in water the strongly charged salt ion attract to weaker charged water molecules so you can see here that um, a negative charge is reflected by hydrogen of the water molecules while a positive is reflected by uh, attracted by the negative of the Ions. Water molecules surround each ion, salt crystal thus uh, dissolve, is dissolved. Salt water in salinity. Solid water found in the seawater comes from two main sources chemical, mechanical weathering of rocks, land carried by sea, by river, comes from the earth interior and released into the ocean by other process. Chemical or mechanical weathering happens when rock is broken down to the pores of another substance and on the, the rocks such as ice, running water, wind and rapid heating etc. Chemical weathering occur when reaction between rocks and other substance dissolve the rock causing part of it to fall away. Uh, similarly in hydrothermal wind are also um, is a fissure on the sea floor from which geothermally heated water discharges Hydrothermal winds are commonly found near volcanically active places, area where tectonic plates are moving apart and spreading the center. You can see here in this picture. And now the seawater. In the seawater, six ion composed of 498% of the solid in seawater. It contains most of the element found in earth and you can see here chloride, sud, chloride contains 55%, sodium is 30, uh, more than 30, sulfate more than 7, magnesium and calcium and potassium. And most of the salute are made of a small group of common ions. You can see here in this seawater, 85% uh, constituting ions are sodium and chloride. Salinity is the total amount of salt dissolved in the seawater. It is expressed as a number of grams of salt left when one kilogram of seawater evaporates. For example, 35 gram left over is equal to sal salinity of 35 parts per thousand. Uh, Roll up constant proportion applies here, which is the relative amount of various ions in the seawater are always the same. For example, chloride is always 35 percent, 55 percent. However, much salts are needed. Uh, salinity, uh, it is very important that uh, salinity varies by the addition of, uh, or deletion of pure water, and pure water is added by precipitation. Mm, pure water is removed by evaporation or freezing. Uh, you can see the average daily salinity at the ocean is 35 ppt and it may increase. A uh, useful constant or conversion of water that we need. Uh, the weight is 62.41 pounds per cubic foot at 32 Fahrenheit. Weight is 8 pound pound per gallon. And here is a density 1 gram per cubic centimeter. And then these are general 1 gallon is equal to 4 quarts, which is equal to 8 pence, and then 128 ounce and 1 liter is equal to uh, this amount. So you need 